How long do you keep and use your smartphone? An estimated two and a half years on average. The battery dies or there's this new improved model you just got to have. In the United States alone, 150 million smartphones are discarded every year. They end up in drawers or they end up in a pile like this. But typically the processor is still totally fine. So people are getting rid of these devices every couple years or so and they still have a powerful processor within them. And that processor is the part that UC San Diego computer scientists want to repurpose. Switzer says the processors in these smartphones can run perfectly well for at least six years. We could collect up old unwanted phones and redeploy them in, for instance, a data center then we would reduce the number of new hardware that we needed to build. The UCSD research delved deeply into the carbon energy costs of creating new computer hardware, which Switzer says is considerable. Today, smartphones are recycled, so to speak, but the goal of extracting precious metals like copper and silver is difficult and renders very little return. The UCSD scholars first needed to get a bunch of unwanted phones to try to turn them into little data centers. Fellow computer scientist Gabriel Marcano says Switzer had a plan. Jen had a donation drive effectively uh, where she asked for donations for everyone on campus. They had old phones lying around in a drawer to please uh, give them to her and had a little box in front of her office. And we got a lot of phones that way. Then the work began, assembling phones together so their processors could work on the same operating system. They called them phone clusters, but in the lab, they looked more like a smartphone toast rack or maybe a phone sandwich. One of the coolest things about these is a phone in its way is already a data center in a box. Pat Panuto is a professor of computer science and engineering at UC San Diego, and he's Switzer's advisor. He says his fellow researchers have proven that smartphone processors can be linked and can operate like a data center. Switzer says they hosted a web page on one of them. Panuta says the devices wouldn't be used by consumers, but they could enhance the power of data centers, expand and decentralize the internet cloud. Look, we have done N equals 10 phones in the lab. We've built a little 10 phone cluster. We've proven it works. We've proven you can distribute jobs across it. And now we want to go to N equals 100, N equals 1,000, N equals 2,000 and say, all right, what happens if we start to run real workloads? What happens if we're doing things that are supporting actual commercial interests? So if you've got an old smartphone dozing in a drawer, its processor could have a future life. Thomas Fudge, KPBS News.